everybody, it's Bobby Joe, and welcome to my home. I have a quick project share that I'd like to do, um, and uh, yeah, it's not something that I'll be giving away, I don't think, um, because I've made a lot of errors in my eyes. Um, but I'll take you through some of the things that I had challenges with and some of the things that I liked and how it came out. What this is, is um, a paper, um, a paper pocket letter. And what I mean by that is, and it's funny, because I was trying to think of a way that I could do a pocket letter without the plastic sleeves, just for something different. Um, and then, like two days later or less, Mixed Up Craft uh, Crafts had this tutorial on her um, uh, on her uh, YouTube videos. Um, I would highly suggest, and I'm going to put her link down down below. I'd highly suggest going over to her channel if you're, um, especially if you're a paper crafter, because um, she delves into just about everything. Um, anyways, she's got craft and cards on there, and <coughs> embellishments and and uh, scrapbook um, uh, pages and stuff like this. So all different. So I will let you go over to her. Uh, I'm gonna put the actual video, just the video, down below as well. And I would. I suggest going over there for the actual measurements because I can't remember some of them. And um, I can only tell you that this is made with a 12 by 12 um, cardstock. And it's your thicker cardstock um, that uh, you should probably use. Um, so to begin, this is a little clip that holds it all together. Um, so I really liked that aspect of it. It's something different. I put one of the Dollarama tags there that everybody's hauling. These tags also, I love the way that they're the exact same cutout. So if I'm just using it as a tag, not something to write on, I can use them on both sides and it just gives a little cute little decoration embellishment or decoration. Um, this um, ribbon is from, well, I know Dollarama has this, I didn't get it there, but otherwise these are from Dia Dollarama, all three of them. Um, the chain I thought I'd just add for a little bit of something different. I had this chain. I don't even know what it came off of, but I thought it looked so vent vintage. And then I found this little, um, it's a little uh, pin. Um, and I thought that it, it went well with the vintage theme as well. And then I just added some some little charms on there. So, on the front, this is a uh, Forever in Time paper, and it is glittered, of course. A lot of theirs is glittered. I added some butterflies just to have a little bit of a dimension on there, but I didn't want to add too much. Opening it up, just take this away, and it opens up like this. Now, Mixed Up Craft um, did it a little bit differently than I did, um, but essentially, you're going to have um, you're going to have the and, and she gives the measurements for. Um, sorry, I'm. Yeah. Anyways. Um, in order for you to have the amount of space needed on the sides here. Um, she also gives measurements for um, mats and things like that. I, I did use some mats um, and different things, but 
um, I really wanted to put my own kind of thing to it. And she mentioned that you could decorate the back as well, and I just went ahead and did that because I, it, for a pocket letter, um, I would think that you'd want some things in the back so you can just put some little things in. This is the main page, and um, yeah, so we'll just go through that. Uh, this is two-sided um, paper by <laughs> Forever in Time, and so it has the postcards on the back with the lighter uh, rose uh, colors in there. So in this particular one, I used this here, if I take this out so that it's not... This is from a paper stack I had oh, ages ago. I've had it, it was in Michael's and it had um, things like this in it and they were they were worn and they were a vintage um, look and it had everything from well, these these roses here um, to uh, chandeliers. It had everything in it. Um, it's been years that I've had that, so I'm not certain what the what the thing is. But I put a little um, back on that so I could slide something down into here. Um, the next one is um, an envelope. I put some Velcro on the envelope. Now this is step one of the things I'm not happy with. Um, I couldn't find the white. Um, I couldn't find the white uh, dots for my Velcro, and I just don't like it. I uh, I don't like it being a little bit open. I I know that. It's going to be strong enough to hold whatever I put in it, but still, I don't like it. Um, then I put this little embellishment on. Um, this is a just blue cardstock underneath that I, I cut with my rotary. Um, I have a rotary cutter that just does that edge. Um, and then underneath, I have some homemade paper that I got, and the homemade paper has just been distressed. Um, I'm still learning to use my distressed inks. So it was distressed um, a little bit on the bottom. Um, next, vellum. Vellum and I don't get along. I, I, I never, yeah, I just never seem to, to do vellum well. So it, to start, I did put the vellum on the blue cardstock, so it did shine, shine a little bit of blue through. Um, and then this is the one that um, I hauled from the Dollarama. It's out of that packet, that vintage packet that was there with the gold um, uh, writing. This little tag, and I did modify it just slightly, this little tag um, I received from Tina App. She had uh, given me that, and she also did this cute, cute little um, uh, teacup. These are, f and this one uh, little picture here is from Tim Holt's uh, collection. It's uh, an ephemera package. And then these are Forever in Time uh, stickers. Why I hate the vellum is because it, if it gets wet, which is the glue essentially, um, it will warp the paper. And that's, yeah, vellum and I don't get along. So it, it, it warps the paper and it makes it very noticeable. Um, then I went, and those little, um, um, gosh, I can't find my word for that today, um, scoring, wow, 
Um, where I scored to make these uh, this section, I did put the pearls up just for decoration in there. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't. It doesn't look like any different at all, except for it gives it a little bit more decorative features. Um, then I have this one right here. This paper um, is also from that package I mentioned. That is the. Um, it was the vintage package from Michaels and then I did the same thing with the homemade um, uh, paper underneath and just kind of crossed that because these are easy to cut out in in links and can, as you can see um, these flowers were on some of the paper um, in that set but what I did is I just took a few of them and just popped them out with some um, and made them a little bit 3D. So this one is has a little bit of, they have a little bit of, a um, little bit of uh, dimension there. This is just a hat pin that I had picked up at Canadian at Great Canadian Dollar uh, Store and I really like those. I'm always afraid of the pin, but um anyways, this is another one from that set and I didn't like the um circle up here, so I just put a gem there. Um this uh, uh um, bird I got somewhere. I don't know where. Um and then finally, to end this off, I just took some of my, um, some of my, uh, this one's going to go back there, whether it likes it or not. Um, anyways, I just cut out some different ones to make my banner. Over here, the vellum, same thing, warpage, and it's not as bad on this side, but it's still warped. Um, and then this is a little clock. It comes from Forever in Time as well. And I believe it comes on a paper sheet. This is the blue with the um, vellum on top of it and with the, with the gold writing on it. This is the other envelope. I just put a hello here. Just um, and that'll be where the letter would go for me, anyways. Um, and then the same thing with the paper, this blue cardstock, and then underneath is the homemade pit and paper that's distressed. And then this little thing here is um, these items. This one and this one came from the uh, Michaels uh, paper pad that I told you about. And then this is from, it's a, kind of a, like a little pin, um, uh, ephemera, it's just ephemera from Tim Holtz, um, his little collection. Then I just took some of the little items that I might have had and a little button just to make the embellishment on it. So then if we go to the back... I wanted just to have something different to put something in. So I did three of these as well as um, three of the envelopes. The envelopes I went back too far I felt with the Velcro. Um, so I was annoyed at myself for that. <laughs> um, and then there's this one here. And finally the three on the back. And then when all closed and done, as you already saw, take the little clip, put it right there, and it holds it all together. The problem, number one, I wouldn't put as much in it, I don't think, as much bulk. Um, but I think it still would have been pretty good with the without the vellum um, warping the paper. 
but anyways, if you try to fix it, it's going to make it look worse, and I think I'll keep it. it. It's one of the things, something different that I made and, and I put a lot of work into, so it might be different, and but I don't think it's going to go to anyone because, yeah. <laughs> It's it's up to Mario's standards. How about that? <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching. Bye.